I sometimes jokingly refer to myself as the million year man because I have a tendency to say no to or delay everything. I postpone, I say no, I avoid, and it has been a struggle for me my whole life. And the struggle is I can't seem to go with the flow. I can't seem to just adjust and adapt and do things in the moment. It's so hard for me when things come to me in the moment and say, hey Eric, these things need to be done. Because I have a tendency to say, no, they don't. I want to think about it first. I want to plan it first. I want to envision it first. I want to visualize it first. And often this can keep me from taking progress in my life. So today we're talking what you can do as an INFJ to be more open-minded, to be more open to experience, to be more ready to jump at the sign of, well, when it's time to go. As an INFJ, going with the flow can feel like a very difficult thing. Young INFJs might often find themselves trying to escape this natural order way of things. The thought of adjusting to and adapting to the moment and going with the flow can feel very stressful. Life can feel like a race car and as an INFJ you can feel like you are the turtle. The world is moving simply too fast and when things become too fast, life becomes impossible to plan. So turning down appointments, avoiding relationships, saying no to a promotion, these can all be ways to say stop. The instinct is to get out of the carousel so that you can take a step back and get a better view and sense of things. When life has less clutter, life starts to make simply a bit more sense. Yeah, many INFJs, they dream of escaping civilization, giving up their money and possessions, leaving all attachments behind them. But is this really a feasible way to attain happiness? Or is it just a way of escaping from the reality of life? Are we really in more control just because we have less things to worry about? As an INFJ, I've learned that there is another way to feel happy in a world of chaos and distraction. And that is learning to let go of your need for control. You might say it's impossible, but it's not. First, you want to recognize that there are things you cannot control in life, just like the weather. Then you want to recognize that there are things in life that you don't want to control, like other people. And finally, you want to recognize that there are things you don't need to control, like nature. In letting go of the unnecessary, you open to control and focus on what is really necessary. Your future, your passion, your destiny is in your hands and everything else is up to someone or something else. You can find your way in a natural flow and all you need to do is accept it. Practice the following mantras. I will always find my own way even in the strongest of currents. I can always find stillness in myself no matter how much it storms outside. I already know my destiny. I don't need to think about it or doubt any longer. My introverted intuition will give me enough understanding to take the first steps to realizing my vision. Extroverted feeling will teach me what I can offer to the world. But it can also show me all the wonders that other people can offer to me. Introverted thinking can show me how I can be of use to those that I love. Extroverted sensing can lead me through what I can't prepare for, what I can't understand, and what I can't know. And it can be alright. So INFJs, I have a question for you. Do you feel like you have struggles with going with the flow? Do you feel you struggle with extroverted sensing and how do you notice that? Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video.